So anyway, we're driving around Maine and we stumble on Chris and Susanna Hinton from Hinton the Trail. <sighs> now we're just gonna follow them around until they stop. Yep, yep. Okay, I think you're good this way. So I, think I mean, seriously, it's, it's like it was planned or something because somehow I have one of Chris's walkies. So it must have been planned, right? We didn't actually check to see if we could hear each other. No. So can you hear me? <laughs> so yes, that was a joke. We'd planned for quite a while to try to meet up with Chris and Susanna Hinton from Hinton the Trail. Go check out their channel. I'll leave a link down in the description and a card up above as well. This was our first full day hanging out, and we decided to head on over to the state capital of Augusta, in the state they're home based out of now, to do some photography, hang out, get to know each other a little bit better, more in person. We've seen each other's videos. I, I've watched uh, all of their videos at least twice. They've got some really great travel videos over there. So as the first video in this series was a lot of driving and not a lot of photography, this one's going to go the other way. I did a lot of photography and not a lot of talking. It's like I was out of practice with this YouTube thing. <laughs> Here's the first composition that I made that day in Maine. This is the state capital or state house of Maine in Augusta. They have these great columns of trees leading right up to it, making a lawn in between the columns. I did this one vertically and horizontally from a distance. I shot this with my 70 to 300. I just wish the clouds would have been a little bit more cooperative. There's not much detail to bring back in those clouds. If you shot in adverse weather or when lighting wasn't quite ideal, let's talk about it, get a conversation going. So the one thing I like about this composition, either the horizontal or the landscape as you're seeing here, is the leading lines that the columns of trees form, leading you right into the Capitol building itself. I also love the contrast of the sculpture at the top, how it pops that golden color against that crappy sky. <laughs> So, not a bad day. I did a little bit of work in post to bring up the trees a little bit so that you can actually see the detail in the shadows and in the leaves. Seeing as I didn't get the detail in the sky like I wanted, at least I got a fairly nice photograph. I feel that the leading lines work really well on the landscape composition as opposed to the portrait version of this photograph. There's a little bit more width to the overall photograph. So for this third composition of the State House of Maine in Augusta, we got up close and personal with the first set of stairs at the street. I used my 14 to 24 millimeter lens to get a wide shot from this area. I prefer a square crop on this one as it removes some of the clutter of the columns. You can just barely see the tips of the columns of that first set of stairs in the raw. Here in the processed version, I did some work in the sky. Here again, the sky's not great, but the color pop of that gold statue is just eye-catching. And I love how the leading lines of the stairs bring you right in to the state house. Let me know what you think. So yeah, I told you there'd be a lot of photographs of this state house from the outside. I love state houses. I love state capitol buildings to photograph. Now it's time for some details. This fourth composition is zoomed in on the dome. The raw is a little off kilter and a little bit underexposed. Did a little bit of work in post to bring out the white of the columns in the building itself and make sure that the copper dome is showing its natural color on patina. Still love the extra pop of color from the statue at the top. Not many leading lines on this one, unfortunately. Now it's time for composition number five, where I zoomed in on the very top with my 70 to 300. I wanted to get some detail shots of that statue that keeps drawing my eye to it. I love how the column base actually stands that statue off of the bronze dome 
and isolates it a little bit more in the sky. I love the glow of the properly exposed photograph on the right. I did a little bit of post-processing because I wanted detail in the dome so that you could see the copper and the columns that are white that are barely contrasting against that white cloudy sky. I do like the overall look and feel of this photograph. I'm not sure if sky replacement would help this photograph at all. Let me know what your thoughts are below. So for composition number six, I kind of focused in on this handrail at the base of the dome. I'm assuming that you can probably walk up there. It kind of looks like a widow's walk. This is the raw photograph. It's still a little bit underexposed, but when we take it into Lightroom and do some uh, post-processing with it, I'm able to get the detail back in the columns and the shadows have some soul and life left in them as well. I did do some straightening because this was shot handheld with my 70 to 300. I do like the way the detail shot turned out. What do you guys think? Detail shots of buildings. Interesting? Not interesting. Also, let me know down below if you'd like to see my quick and dirty Lightroom post-processing to get these photos into videos. For photographs and compositions that I would like to show in competition, I do go back and do more thorough post-processing using Photoshop to do more dodging and burning. That would be another video series in and of itself. So for this final composition, I wanted to zoom in tight on the windows with the columns that are in the mid-level of the dome. I found it interesting. I had to straighten it with a crop in post-processing. So with this one, I also had to do some other work in post. Cameras tend to take whites and turn them gray even when they're overexposed. So I had to do some contrast work here to get the detail back in the columns, as well as keep the shadows where they were when I was in the field that day. Well, if you made it through all those photos with me, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.